Spears, you're actually going to testify against your own daughter? No, it, it's not personal, Robin. It, well, it sure feels that way. Sorry. No. I love you. I love you more than anything, and I am beyond thrilled that you're going to be a mother. And, you know, I'm going to be a mother if someone about to be a mother, and all of that whole thing. Then why are you siding with him? Simply put, you couldn't be more wrong about him. I mean, you know, it's natural for you to have freaked out at the thought of an entire family living under one roof. Because your father and I, we were not good examples of that, obviously. First of all, me and the baby moving in with Patrick is absurd. And cramming a baby into a closet isn't? Well, he has a point. The closet is no place. It to isn't time. a closet. It is a dressing area that's about to become a nursery. Well, call it whatever you will. No woman should be forced to store her couture in boxes by the bed. You know, I mean, Patrick has all the room in the world. Okay, look, I know that you mean well. And somehow you've managed to convince yourself that siding with him is actually good for me. But I can assure you it isn't. I mean, this whole situation is completely ridiculous. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Okay. Statements like that do nothing to enhance your position. Okay, court. I'm sorry to interrupt, but why involve the courts at all? The last thing either of you want is a long, drawn-out custody battle. Take it from somebody who's been there. It's not going to do anybody any good, least of all that baby. If Patrick wishes to withdraw the petition, all he has to do is ask. In the interest of our child, we let this go. What kind of father would I be if I didn't fight to be a part of my child's life? And that settles it. I will notify you when the hearing is calendared. When you retain legal counsel, please have them contact me. Hi, thanks Hi. for coming. It's not often I get offers to do outside work. Well, I am hoping that you can still take on a private client. It depends on the case and the client. But since the client is you, you know that I would do anything that I can for you. Patrick is petitioning for visitation rights with the baby. It's standard practice to want to work up a custody arrangement when the parents are living in different houses. When the baby is still in my womb? Please tell me that this is just a scare tactic on Diane's part and Patrick cannot actually win this case. All right. You should know that Diane is very good. She's a very thorough attorney, and I don't think she would file a motion if she didn't think the judge would grant a hearing. Am I the only one that thinks that this is crazy? I mean, doesn't this violate my right to privacy? Technically, no, because Diane can argue that you've already had this amount of time to bond with the baby, and Patrick has afforded the same amount of time. Well, that's ridiculous, because no matter how much Patrick wants to rub my belly or talk to the baby, he'll never be connected to it the way that I am. And the truth is, he's only doing this because he wants me to move in with him. I'm going to say something to you from one single mother to another. It would be far less complicated if you had a relationship, a decent relationship with the baby's father. Unless, of course, he poses an emotional or a physical threat. Of course not. Patrick would never hurt the baby. Robin, you would be far better served to make room for Patrick in your life. Otherwise, you have a lot more to lose than just a few hours a week with your baby. I know you're trying to convince Robin that you want to be a good father, but taking her to court is only going to make her dig her heels in even deeper. What choice do I have? I've told Robin every way that I can that I want to be a part of our child's life, and she doesn't seem to hear me. I think you're just going to have to give her time. Elizabeth, my back is against the wall. In a few months, she's going to give birth. Now, if I want to be a part of our kid's childhood, then family court's the only option. So you're saying you won't represent me? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Listen, I'm a champion for mother's rights, and I'll be happy to put on my lawyer hat for you if that's what you'd like. I can't guarantee that you're going to win. It will, however, be a very interesting case, because as absurd as this sounds, Patrick actually has a very compelling argument. Uh, this is my lawyer, Alexis, my mother. How are you? Nice Anna to meet Devane. you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So you got a lawyer? Yeah, and if you do decide to take this case, you should know that my mother is willing to testify on Patrick's behalf. You are aware that if you, if you aren't subpoenaed, you don't have to testify? Yeah, I know that. Patrick's a good man. He really loves my daughter. 
dragging me into court has a funny way of showing it. Yeah. You wouldn't be fighting so hard if you hadn't had such a mixed up childhood. Robin and I, we weren't the best parents. So. This isn't about you and dads. It's about Patrick being completely irrational. He's asked you to move in with him, not commit murder. Well, excuse me if I want some semblance of stability for my child. Since I'm sure one day you're going to want your child to listen to you, you might extend the same courtesy to your mother. I'm just saying. If you want me to represent you, I will. I'll do that. Just Thank let you. me know if you want to move forward with it. I will. Nice meeting you. Yeah, bye-bye. I have no business telling you what to do with your child. I just would hate for you to make the same mistakes I did. Mom, I know what I'm doing. I would really like your support. Hey. If you could just take a step back and consider the fact that you might be overcompensating because of your messed up childhood. Mom, please, stop blaming yourself. No, I'm not. Really. But because I kept you from Robert for the first six years of your life, I, I think you feel that fathers are optional. You know, it's nice if you have one, but they can't be counted on. And that kind of uncertainty, I think you won't even let yourself believe in happily ever after. This is not about you and Dad. It's about me and Patrick who, up until a few months ago, wanted to have nothing to do with a child. And it's just now that my due date is getting closer and the fact that he found me collapsed on the floor has just made him very nervous. And so now, all of a sudden, he's willing to step up and take responsibility. You make it sound like a bad thing. It is, if it's out of obligation. No, it's not. That's just your fear talking. You're not even hearing what it is Patrick is trying to say. He wants to be with you, Robin. Why won't you let him? So, Jerry... Shh. She's asleep. Do you mind if I wait? No, come in. You want to sit down? Yeah. I have tea. You want tea? I'm okay. Give you some advice, though. How do I get Robin to understand that I'm not filing this petition to punish her? All I want is to be part of our child's life. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the secret is to getting through to Robin. She's a remarkable woman. Yeah. She's very strong and resilient. But thanks to her father and me, she's also a bit of a mess. Emotionally, anyway. Is that why you agreed to testify on my behalf? You feel guilty? I feel a lot worse if I'm wrong about you. You aren't. You better hope not. Because if I persuade Robin to trust you, you know, and then you turn around and you hurt her, And you know the phrase, terminate with extreme prejudice? Do you know that phrase? <laughs>